So the other day when I sold uh, my boy that Miami Hurricanes hat, I just quickly went into the sneaker store that he works at and I saw a pair of the Yeezy Foam Runners. And to be honest, at first I hated them. I thought they were ugly. I still think they're ugly. Uh, you know me, I wear Crocs almost every single day. And I don't know, I tried them on and yo, they were so comfortable. I was like, you know what? I kind of want a pair. I always wear Crocs. Uh, they're very expensive, especially the ones I want. The ones I want is the first release ones. It's like the white colorway. Um, my size on GOAT is like 450 on StockX. It's like 650 brand new. They have them at like 350, gently used. So I'm gonna see. Um, the new colorway just came out, the ochre, or it's like a tan color, like a brown colorway, just came out and someone on OfferUp is selling them for 250 So it's about $100 cheaper, but obviously it's a different colorway. But what I did was I filled up an entire duffel bag of vintage clothes and a few sneakers, and I'm gonna bring it here and see if he'll do a trade. So let's head to the sneaker store. I'll show you guys, see what he takes, see what he doesn't take, and see how much store credit I can get to see if I get the Yeezys, or if I just get the cash and then buy them on Offer offer up uh, later on. So let's, so let's head to the sneaker store, see what we can get, guys. So I'm waiting for my boy to get here. He said he'll be here in like 15 minutes. These were the foam runners I was telling you. It was actually at 375, it was at 350. But like I said, this was the first colorway one. The, the only issue that I have is that the bottom doesn't look like there's much grip. So my problem is, is I spend 375 and I wear them and it rains in Florida. And I bust my ass because there's like barely any grip on here. So I don't know, I'm gonna see. It depends how much uh, they're willing to buy and how much store credit, but I might get these or I'll just uh, buy on offer up and get this colorway. They have these at 395, but on StockX they're like 200 bucks. So I guess we'll see. Might as well get all this place on he just took a bunch of stuff to the back to see what he buys, but for his personal stuff, he's gonna look at these two Jeezy shirts. Uh, I gave him this Miami Hurricane shirt. Uh, I bring it, Depeche Mode, Thompson Twins, Miami Dolphins, and then some eights. He also, like I said, took a big pack of style and he's gonna see how much they can do. All right, so this is what he wants. He wants the two anime pieces. He wants these. I'm getting $40 store credit for this, $20 for this, uh, 50 for the Eddie, 80 on the others, 100 on the Naruto. And like I said, these were the ones that I was looking at to grab. Original box, everything. Well, it was kind of hard to deal because I was doing like multiple transactions because he bought stuff for himself and then he also, um, the store bought some stuff. So I ended up selling him both of the Jeezy shirts for $140, $70 each. Uh, I ended up paying $100 for the pair or $70 for the pair, I believe. So I basically doubled my money on that. And then for the Yeezys, I ended up uh, getting store credit. I got the, Jordan Aqua 8s gave me $40 credit. The Eddie Guerrero shirt, I got $50. Um, the, what else did I get? I'm trying to like think while I'm driving too. It's, it's really difficult. Um, I got, oh man, I, I'll have to look at the footage and I'll have to show you guys. But basically, I ended up getting $380 store credit I ended up getting the Yeezy Foam Runners. Now, those Yeezy Foam Runners, like I said, on GOAT, they're 450, and brand new, they're 650, $700 in my size, which is size 12. Um, I feel like that colorway is gonna match better. I can wear that with anything versus the brown pair or the khaki pair that just came out is gonna be a little bit more darker. But I'm quickly headed home to do another bulk buy. Uh, a buddy's coming through to cash out I'm not sure exactly how much he's gonna spend, but I already have three trash bags um, separated for him, and then he's gonna shop my inventory too. So let's quickly head home, meet up with him, make some more money, and just have a good day. You know, we got a pair of Yeezys, we got $140 in the pocket. I could have sold more things. I could have got probably about another $300 in store credit, but I told him I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna hold off. Uh, I think I might get a pair of the Yeezy slides, but I don't need two pair of Yeezys in the same day, so I've told him, uh, I'm just gonna keep it as trade bait and I'm gonna keep shopping. You said, yeah, no worries, uh, you're good. So let's head home, 
meet up with my boy and uh, sell some clothes. So I'm back at the sneaker store actually already wearing the foam runners. Yo, these things are amazing. I actually want to try to get another uh, colorway just because they're so comfortable. I'll definitely wear them all the time instead of wearing Crocs. I brought my static 350s just to see what they would do on it. And then I brought four other shirts. They wanted these four shirts. Uh, they wanted like $200 store credit. I'm going to see if they can bump it to 240 If they could do 240 then I'll sell them 240 And then I also brought an off-white hoodie just to see if uh, they would be interested in store credit to see if maybe I can get another pair of... Uh, Foam runners, so let's go inside and see what they got. Trading these six shirts, Yeezy slides. So I ended up trading six t-shirts for the Yeezy slides. Now I'm normally a size 11 and a half, 12 in like normal shoes, but the Yeezy slides, I'm a size 14. At first I was a size 13 and I said, yo, can I just try them on real quick? And my foot was hitting the back. So I was like, damn, do you have a 14? They're like, yeah, actually we do. Try on the 14, the 14 fits way better. And the 14 is pretty difficult to find. Like, obviously, I can go on StockX, but I just took a, a quick search on OfferUp and literally, like, none for sale in a size 14. So, if you think about it, I got those shirts for a dollar each. I thrifted every single one of those shirts. So, in the sense, I paid six dollars for the pair of Yeezys. Now, obviously, those shirts are worth way more than a dollar. Uh, the vintage anime shirts are probably valued at a hundred dollars by themselves. Uh, the Animal Kingdom shirts, probably about another $40, $50 bill. Uh, the Skeleton shirts, another $40, $50 bill. But again, I paid a dollar each, so $6 for a pair of Yeezy slides. Um, now, I was going to get a pair of another foam runners, but I figured, you know what? I have a pair of 350s, I have a pair of foam runners, and now I have a pair of Yeezy slides. It doesn't really make sense to have multiple pair of foam runners or multiple pair of Yeezys, you know, just keep one. Keep it simple. I don't need a bunch of Yeezys. I just kind of wanted one so that way I can wear it. You guys know me. I always wear Crocs, sandals, stuff like that. So I feel like for South Beach, it, it was a no-brainer. Uh, the yellow colorway, I didn't really want, but also I did because I realized that the tan colorways are releasing uh, again this month or next month in November. So... I, I could have easily got the tan colorway, but I figured, you know what, let me just get the yellow one. We'll keep it bright and uh, keep it right. Today's gonna be a little mission. Uh, I've been on the hunt for a size 14 Yeezy slides ever since I picked up these uh, glow yellow ones. I'm actually rocking them with the thrifted off-white socks we picked up the other day. <clears throat> And I'm trying to find them local just because I don't like ordering on StockX. I don't want to wait two weeks. I just want to get them as fast as I can and just start rocking. Especially orange, it being October, I want to, you know, wear them for Halloween and just rock them during October. So I've been looking and I found them at a snore. Snore. I found them at a local store. But the problem is, is the price is too expensive. Uh, they want like $475. On StockX, I think they're like $400. But another store locally has a size... 9, 10, 11, they have multiple sizes. So I called him, I said, yo, would you do a tr uh, size swap? He said, yes, bring in like the most common size, uh, 9, 10 or whatever, and $50 and I'll size swap you. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go to a, a one server and I'm gonna trade him a bunch of vintage clothes, hopefully to get the size 10. Then I'm gonna go to the other store and size swap the size 10 plus $50 for the size 14 orange sandals slides so i'll show you guys what they buy i'm bringing a bunch of vintage t-shirts uh just random stuff a bunch of vintage crew necks it's starting to get a little bit colder so hopefully they'll get that show you guys what they get so my boy is off today so i'm gonna work with another worker but let's see what they get i forgot how much stuff that they have in here that's funny i actually had that exact shirt they have so much stuff in here. They're doing a buyout and then they're gonna look at mine. The pile that they're interested in. We gotta work with pricing though. They haven't offered anything yet. Harley Davidson, Mickey, Team Nike, Nike. Tales from the Crypt. Well, we're gonna have to postpone this episode till tomorrow because uh, I'm just gonna have to wait for my boy that usually handles it to uh, deal with it and go through it. It's just too complicated when other workers are there. They don't really know how to value stuff. Um, no disrespect to the ham or anything like that. They just, uh, yeah, we'll just wait till tomorrow. So I'll catch you guys up tomorrow. Well, we are back day two of trying to uh, 
swap it. My boy's working today, so this was the pile that the kid put away uh, yesterday. But we're gonna see if they actually want that and the stuff that they passed. See if we can get some uh, the orange ones, and then we'll go to the other store and size swap them. This was the pile that they said that they wanted, but I said I was gonna hold off. This is what they didn't want, but I figured I'll just show you the Nike piece. Is that pen one? So they ended up taking four t-shirts, $130 store credit. The Yeezys were $260. I ended up putting $130 cash. And now we're gonna go to the other sneaker store. I have to pay $50 cash to do a size swap. So in the end, I'll have $180 out of my pocket for the pair of Yeezys. Now, if I buy them on StockX, they're 430, I believe, after shipping and fees and everything. So, 180 for a pair of $430 shoes, you can't beat that at all. So let's go to the other sneaker store. Hopefully we don't have any issues or any problems. Hopefully it's just a smooth transaction. And uh, yeah, let's go get these Yeezys. So I actually filmed this store before a long time ago, um, but I've never actually bought anything from here. But now I'm gonna do the size swap. So hopefully it does, you know, good. $50 size swap, not bad. Damn, look at this off-white jacket. This is like something that I would make back in the day. If you guys remember watching me for a while, I used to paint denim. The new Sex wrestlers, chrome hearts. Remember when these used to be so hyped? I mean, obviously they still go for a lot of money, but I remember when everyone used to drool all over them. Off-white 50s. Yeah, no, I agree. I'm looking for uh, an editor and a filmer, actually, just so that way they can walk around and yeah. film. Because I get, I miss so much content by not like picking up my camera and filming. Getting these size 14. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was very uh, smooth transaction. Uh, they're actually really nice and uh, shout out to them. I walked in, they said, are you looking to sell? I said, no, I just want to size swap. They said, okay, it's a $50 flat rate fee. I said, okay, that's perfectly fine. So we paid $50, I got my size 14 in the orange slides. And uh, now, like I said, we're basically $180 we got for these. Um, which, okay, $180 is a lot for sandals. But again, if I order on StockX, it would literally be 400 plus. So I'm happy with that. Now uh, let's get some food. Let's head home. Also, uh, $180 cash out of my pocket plus the $130 store credit is about $310 for these Yeezy slides in total. Um, you know, no whatever. And like I said, that's still cheaper than StockX. So $300, yes, it's a lot of money, but I'm happy with it. I got another orange slide, it's perfect. October vibes, Halloween vibes, and yeah, I'm happy with it. So I finally made it back home, and I just kinda wanna recap uh, the three pairs of Yeezys that I ended up getting uh, in this video. Now, again, we ended up trading basically everything that I thrifted, you know, vintage clothes that I've been getting at the thrift stores for a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, uh, and then we ended up trading. Obviously, you guys saw with the last pair, the orange pair, I did have to put a little bit of my cash up front, but at the other end, we're still in the green. So we have the orange pair. This is kind of like my rotation right here. So we have the um, Post Malone Edition Crocs. I got those for retail for a, a while ago, but that's not what this is for. You guys are here for the Yeezys. So we got the orange ones. We have the lime green ones, which to be honest, these lime green ones feel a little bit different. Uh, like this is like a more like a matte finish and this is more like a smoother finish. These are actually more comfortable than these, but I don't know if these just need to be broken in, or sorry, if these just need to be broken in more than these. But either way, I'm still really happy with uh, both of my purchases. And then obviously the A-Rat or A-Rat uh, foam runners. So we'll see, I am gonna put cap. Why are you barking, dude? I do want to get the suit uh, colorway of the sandals, which is going to be like the dark colorway, and then like a sand colorway. So two more of the slides, a couple more of the foam runners, and then we will uh, complete my little uh, 
Yeezy collection. I actually just got this new hat rack. I need to do an apartment tour so I can show you guys everything. But I just got this new hat rack. Kind of cool. It has my fear of God right up front. And then I've also been putting some Halloween decorations. You guys saw at the thrift stores I've been uh, uh, getting these for a dollar a piece. Happy Halloween. This little guy up here. Kind of cool Halloween decorations. And then we have some candles right here as well. Cap, you want to say goodbye to the people? We're running the video. You weren't in it as much, but people love when you're in it. Right? Well, you, yeah. Oh, got a niche. Got a niche. The light's messing up because of the lights on the ceiling. That's why you see the lines on the screen. Right, Cap? We got to do an apartment tour. Show people where we're living. We've been almost here a year. Right, dude? There's, you know, there's no one outside. You keep hearing stuff. There's no one outside. Can you tell people to like the video and come back for tomorrow? Tell the people to like the video, comment, subscribe, and that we'll see them in the next video, okay? Let them know. Let them know. Really, dude? So guys, I hope you did enjoy today's little trading episode. If you guys did enjoy, I will continue. Uh, maybe once a month, I'll just keep the higher end stuff and wait for trade bait. Like I said, I do want to get uh, two more color Yeezy slides and about two more of the foam runners. So about four more Yeezys in total. Hope you guys enjoy. Follow me on Instagram at DITR954. Let's get it, guys.